Hello and very very welcome everyone to this particular session of the current affairs. And today we are going to learn some of the current affairs of the 14th, 15th, and 16th of September. And let's see that what we can upgrade in our knowledge. So before we start, let's see that what are the topics we are going to cover in this session. So the first session uh, we are going to think think about or talk about is international news, some banking news. And then the defense, science and tech, sports, awards and recognition, state, national news, and at last we will summarize. The images used in our slide deck are for educational purpose only. We respect the intellectual property rights of the original creators and owners of these images. If you are the owner of any of the images used in this deck and have any concern or issues, please contact us at sati at the rate iitk.ac.in and we shall remove the images. So the first thing that we have is India participates in BRICS Literature Forum 2024 in Russia. So India took part in the BRICS Literature Forum 2024, which began in Kazan, Russia on 11th of September 2024. So BRICS Literature Forum, uh, actually it is a kind of a program that is giving a platform to the literature work that has been done in these countries and all over the world. So for that purpose, this forum was created. So it was begin in Kazan, Russia. So remember, the Kazan is the place that is in Russia. The event was inaugurated by Kazan Mayor Lusur Matshin. The forum focused on the theme World Literature in the New Reality Dialogue of Traditions, National Values and Culture. This participation highlights India's commitment to global literary dialogues and cultural exchange. Okay, as I said, that this particular program is being launched or being given this platform so that all over the countries that are involved in this particular organization, they have some shared literature with each other and some kind of tradition and national values would be shared as well. So for that purpose, this program was launched. Remember this event held in Kazan. Third edition of Indus X Summit concludes in California. So the third edition of the Indus X Summit it was held on 9th to 10th of September in California. The event marks significant progress in advancing a joint defense innovation ecosystem between India and the USA. It was co-organized by the US-India Strategic Partnership Forum and Stanford University. So India's X Summit, it was held in California. The purpose was to create some defense innovation ecosystem and also to give platform to the new startups and ventures and enterprises which want who want to particularly involve in this defense vertical the cement uh, the summit focused on deepening defense collaboration through innovation joint research and investment international day for south to south cooperation 2024 so the united nations international day for south to south cooperation is observed annually on 12th of September. So a, current, a particular type of uh, day that is being commemorated for South to South cooperation. The day highlights the importance of collaboration among the developing countries in the global South. Okay, So all the countries which are basically under development right now or you can say the developing state, they are under cooperation with each other. The theme for 2024 is a better tomorrow through South South cooperation. The observance date was changed from 19th to 12th of September to mark adoption of the Buenos Aires Plan of Action BAPA in 1978. Okay, remember this day, South to South Cooperation. India slips by three places to 33 rank in US News and World Report Annual Best Countries Ranking 2024. So, India has slipped from the 30th spot in 2023 to 33rd spot in 2024. US News and World Reports Annual Best Countries Ranking. Okay, so Annual Best Countries Ranking means it is a kind of a ranking that is talking about the best countries in, in, in all over the world. Switzerland topped the rankings for the third consecutive year with an overall score of 100. So, Switzerland have topped this ranking. Japan secured second position followed by the United States and Canada at third and fourth position. The ranking assesses countries based on various factors, including economic influence, quality of life, and global perception. So all these things are being included, and India have slipped to three places by 30, from 30th rank to 33 rank. And this report is being published by US News and 
वर्ल्ड रिपोर्ट एंड इफ वी टॉक अबाउट विच कंट्री हैज टॉप नथिंग अदर देन दिस वन दैट इज स्विटरलैंड टू रिजोल्व एक्सपोर्टर्स इशू Pure oil unveils portal. So, as you know, uh, import and export sometimes a kind of a dispute or a kind of a dis uh, issue will rise. So, Pure oil may unveils a kind of a portal for that. Is the Union Minister for Commerce and Industry Pure oil launched the Jan Sunway portal? So, remember the name Jan Sunway portal. Online platform is designed to streamline communication between stakeholders and authorities. The portal aims to resolve issues faced by exporter. Efficiently, so all the people who are exporting the things from India, if they are facing any kind of difficulty for that purpose, this portal was launched. It is an initiative by the Department of Commerce to enhance transparency and responsiveness. Okay, so remember this point. So export to uh, create a kind of a portal for the people who have some issues with the export, they can now go to Jan Sunway portal. UPI users can now send. Five lakh for some transactions. So the National Payment Corporation of India has increased the transaction limit for tax payment using UPI. Okay, so if you want to give tax to the government, uh, and that is up to rupees five lakh, so you can do that. Users can now send up to rupees five lakh in a single transaction for tax payment only. For tax payment, it, ha it has been done. So all the banking students there, please remember that a question would come into your exam. Like this, that uh, now for the tax uh, tax payment purpose, what is the uh, particular limit that has been set by UPI or NPCI? So the limit is up to five lakhs. Acquiring entities must ensure that the classification of their merchants within MC three nine three one one strictly adhere to tax payments. Merchants are required to enable UPI as a payment mode for the increased limit in the tax payment category. <clears throat> India's foreign kitty jumps to fresh time high at six eighty nine point two four billion. So the Reserve Bank of India announced that India's forex reserve jumped USD five point two four eight billion. Okay, so it is the jump that we got. The new all time high USD is six eighty nine point two thirty five billion was recorded till sixth of September, and it is also going to be increased according to the data. Forex reserves are assets held by a nation's central bank or monetary authority, like RBI. These reserves are generally held in reserve currencies like the US dollar, Euro, Japanese yen, and pound sterling. So now, uh, on sixth of September, we have six eighty nine point two three five billion dollars, and soon we will. Uh, we are thinking that it would go up to seven hundred billion dollars. Times World's Best Companies 2024 India's Palm in the Spotlight. So Times Magazine World's Best Companies 2024 list uh, highlight Indian businesses. Prestigious ranking include thousand companies worldwide. This year, 22 Indian born enterprises were featured, showcasing countries' expanding corporate footprint. So it is very good that India is growing so great that uh, particularly 22 Indian born enterprises are in the list of top 100 companies all over the world. Recognition underscores India's growing influence on the global stage. MOCI Minister Piyush Goyal launches Trade Connect e platform. So, Minister of Commerce and Industries, Union Minister Piyush Goyal, he launched Trade Connect e platform to enhance international trade opportunities for Indian exporters, particularly as MSMEs. So. For the people of MSMEs, that is medium scale, medium enterprises, uh, they have started a particular program that is called Trade Connect e platform. Develop collaboration with key partners. The platform addresses information gaps and offers comprehensive support to exporters. So, as you know, that medium scale, medium enterprises, they are these particular type of enterprises works in uh, small uh, cities and all rural areas and other than that. So basically, to give them some information, to provide them platform, to provide them comprehensive support for X to X, so that they can export their particular commodities all over the world and different places in India. The platform aims to boost India's global market share and offer free trade agreement benefits to small businesses. Trade Connect e platform will launch soon with improved feature based on user feedback. It connects over six lakh importer exporter code holders. 180 Indian mission officials, 600 export promotion councils, 
and trade experts for real time trade information so all this will be done under this particular scheme so trade connect e platform is for helping msmes who are working closely in the rural areas tier 2 and tier 3 type of cities india's first silicon carbide manufacturing unit to be set up in odisha so as this is the first one so it has already become the very important question for all of you so india's first silicon carbide manufacturing factory that is the odisha chief minister mohan charan maji presided over the ground breaking ceremony of india's first silicon carbide manufacturing facility and it is in bhubaneswar developed by mumbai based rir power electronics limited the project involves an investment of rupees 620 crore the facility is expected to create over 500 jobs in manufacturing research and development product manufactured at the facility will be exported to markets in north america europe and asia okay so basically it is being developed by mumbai based rir power electronics limited the project involves investment of rupees 620 crore and it is the first silicon carbide manufacturing unit and uh, it will create around 500 jobs in manufacturing research and development and also it will provide a share of indian market into the north america europe and asia the project will boost odisha's industrial growth and establish it as a key player in the global power electronics industry so as you remember that india is closely working in two department one is the semiconductor hub and one is the lithium batteries manufacturing and other than these two india is also working very closely for manufacture for creating a ai hub in india as the ai hub is being created in hyderabad okay so all these things are under process and why we are working so hard on all of them because in the coming years only these things will be will have future because a lot of ev cars and lot of uh, electronic items that are based on new type of technologies will be in the market and ai as we know is a very important part of today's uh, coding language so basically all these things should be maintained so that the coming generation will have a proper skills so that they can be employed in these sectors so for that purpose this particular first silicon carbide company or manufacturing unit is set up in odisha max life enters into the bank assurance partnership with csb bank to offer insurance products so max life insurance company has entered a banka assurance partnership with csb bank limited the partnership aims to provide a range of saving protections retirement and group life insurance options to over 2.5 million ucsb customers bank assurance uh, allow the insurance company to sell its product to the bank's client base okay so that's all about it max life will offer various insurance plans to csb bank customer under this partnership so it is all about a collaboration that is being done by max life uh, and it has entered into the bank assurance uh, partnership with the csb bank drdo successfully complete first phase trial of the light tank zoravar you can see in this photo this is zoravar so defense research and development organization successfully conducted preliminary automotive trial of the indian light tank zoravar the trial took place on september 13 2024 the versatile platform demonstrated exceptional performance in desert terrain so it will be given a particular type of platform to so work swiftly and efficiently in the desert type of terrain and it is a light tank uh, that is named as zoravar firing performance achieved the required accuracy on designated target showcasing its combat readiness so this particular type of tank is accurate and it has the particularly already proven its accuracy and uh, to the designated targets which is telling that it is ready to be in the fields to be in the real time situation drdo indian navy successfully flight test vlsr sm of uh, odisha coast so drdo and indian navy successfully flight tested the vertical launch short range surface to air missile so you can see in this photo it is going vertically upward and it is a surface to air missile which means it has a capability to hit the target in air the test was conducted using the land based vertical launcher engaging a high speed aerial target flying 
at a low latitude altitude so basically uh, you can mount it on a particular type of a uh, moving uh, truck or particular place and there you can launch it and it can hit a low altitude target the missile system successfully detected the and hit the target validating several updated components vl asar sam is a ship based weapon system developed by bharat dynamics limited for the indian navy so all these things are being done under this program india jumps to tier 1 in global cyber security index 2024 so india has jumped to tier 1 in global cyber security index 2024 so uh, there is a particular uh, index that is called the global cyber security index which tells us that how much pro- protective or how much secure any company any country's uh, cyber cell is so basically it is telling that india has jumped to tier 1 that india has now become a tier 1 country in this category index is released by international telecommunication union remember this point it measures the commitment of countries to cyber security at the global level india's role modeling in cyber security commitments and resulting impacts were key factors in this achievement okay pixel awarded usd 476 million nasa contract to support esr with hyper spectral technology so bengaluru based space tech startup pixel has been selected for nasa's usd 476 million commercial small set data acquisition program on ramp 1 multiple award pixel is one of the eight companies to back this contract with runs through november 15 2028 so now pixel has been awarded by nasa uh, the usd 476 million to contract to support esr with hyper spectral technology the contract will provide earth observation data and related services for nasa The data will assist NASA's Earth science research and application activities to improve life on the planet. Cristiano Ronaldo breaking barriers in social media. So, football icon Cristiano Ronaldo achieved a remarkable milestone in social media. So, recently, what has happened that the famous footballer from Portugal, Cristiano Ronaldo, he opened his account on social media and he got remarkable subscribers just by posting one. video i don't think he would even posted a video his globally appeal extended far beyond the global pitch ronaldo's ability to cap- captivate audience make him a beloved figure even among non footballer fans this achievement underscores his unparalleled influence in the digital world so he just opened a particular account on youtube and he just got number of subscribers without even posting a video Another one highlights of the Paris Olympics Paralympics 2024 India win 29 total medals and secure 18th position okay so it is quite good one for uh, this particular category so India concluded in 2024 summer paralympics in Paris with a record 29 medals including 7 gold 9 silver and 13 bronze remarkable India marked 18th among 170 participating nations and marking its most successful performance in paralympic history china topped the medal tally with 220 medals followed by great britain with 124 and united states with 105 2024 summer paralympics were held from 8th of 28th of august to 8th of september in france okay oca include yogasan as demonstration sport in 2026 asian Games. So, Olympic Council of Asia confirmed that yogasan will be featured as demonstration sport at the 2026 Asian Games in Aichi, Nagoya, Japan. So, the decision was unanimously passed by at the 44th OCA General Assembly in New Delhi. Ranveer Singh, elected unopposed as the OCA president for the four-year term, confirmed yoga's inclusion. Okay, so please remember we have already discussed this one that it will be as a demonstration sports in 2026 Asian Games, and it is a kind of a point that if it particularly popularized, it will also be added into the International Olympics. The OCA aims to popularize yoga internationally, hoping it will become a medal event in 2030 Asian Games in Doha, Qatar. So in 2030, the Asian Games. are going to be held in doha 
and before that we are adding this as our demonstrative sport in 2026 that is asian game that is going to happen in japan last asian games were held in china okay president draupadi murmu confers national florence nightingale award 2024 to 15 nurses and midwives so president draupadi murmu presented the national florence nightingale award 2024 it is a kind of a award that is given in the category of nursing 15 nursing professionals at rashtrapati bhavan the award recognizes outstanding commitment to duty and community service by nursing professionals indian nursing council organized the nfna 2024 award ceremony on behalf of the ministry of health and family welfare each award consists of a certificate of merit a cash award of rupees 1 lakh and a mat okay so what is the particular prize uh, the 1 rupees uh, rupees 1 lakh and uh, a medal will be given to the winners ahetula longi ross tree new species of long snouted wine snake discovered in bihar and meghalaya so a new snake species named ahetula longi ross tree long snouted wine snake okay discovered in valmiki tiger reserve that is in Megha bihar and in meghalaya in some other tiger in some other reserves detailed research findings were published in the journal of asia pacific biodiversity southern birdwing india's second largest butterfly species was found on the satellite campus of the american college in madurai tamil nadu researchers from dodamurg discovered a new meristica swamp forest in kumbral maharashtra Okay, so remember all these things. People of Janskar celebrate 9th Ladakh Janskar Festival 2024. So the 9th Ladakh Janskar Festival begins with grandeur uh, in the village of Sani. This year's festival is significant as it marks the first celebration since Janskar was officially declared a district. Okay, so Janskar, uh, I hope you all know, is a particular range also that exists in the Trans Himalaya. And people of Jaskar celebrate the 9th Ladakh Jaskar festival. And this time it is more significant because Ladakh Jaskar has already been declared as a district. The event highlights the culture, richness and tradition of the Jaskar region. It serves as a landmark event for the local community and visitors alike. Okay, I hope this point is clear to everyone. So remember, Jaskar celebrates 9th Ladakh Jaskar festival. Another one, Union Minister Jyoti Raditya Sindhya uh, launches Ast Lakshmi Mahotsav. So, Union Minister Jyoti Raditya uh, M. Sindhya launched the website uh, for the Ast Lakshmi Mahotsav. The launch event was held at Sanchar, Sanchar Bhavan in New Delhi. The initiative highlights the government's dedication to showcasing Northeast India's cultural and economic richness. The website aims to promote the region on both national and international platform. Okay, so remember it has been launched as the Ashti Lakshmi Mahotsav. Amit Shah inaugurated National Security Strategies Conference in Capital. So, Union Minister Amit Shah inaugurated the National Security Strategies Conference 2024. This conference would be dedicated to talk about the type of things that we can do to formalize or to give a particular type of strategy to the security things in India. The two-day conference was held in New Delhi. The event will discuss various aspects of security, security and its challenges. As I said, aim to develop strategies to enhance national security. Okay, so remember this event was held in New Delhi and was inaugurated by Union Home Minister that was that is Mr. Amit Shah. Union Minister Kiran Rijiju launches six initiatives as part of 100-day achievements of MPA. So, on September 11th, Union Minister Kiran Rijiju launched six initiatives as the part of 100-day achievements of the Ministry of Paramilitary Affairs in New Delhi. <laughs> the initiative includes the National E-Vidhan application and NEVA public portal version 2.0 for paperless legislative environment okay so for these type of things like uh, like the paperless innovations and paperless versions in the legislative assemblies for that purpose this parliamentary affairs uh, ministry have launched this particular portal and it includes national e-vidhan application and neva public portal 
द सबॉर्डिनेट लेजिस्लेशन मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम एंड कंसल्टिव कॉमिटी मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम वर ऑल्सो इंट्रोड्यूस्ड नेशनल यूथ पार्लियामेंट स्कीम पोर्टल टू पॉइंट ओ एम्स टू एनहेंस पार्टिसिपेशन बाय ओपनिंग अप टू ऑल सिटीजन दिस न्यू स्कीम इज बेस्ड ऑफ द नेशनल यूथ पार्लियामेंट कॉम्पिटिशन ऑफ ए क्लब्य मॉडल रेजिडेंशियल स्कूल वॉज ऑल्सो लॉन्च सो फॉर दैट पर्पज द यूनियन मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ पार्लियामेंट्री अफेयर्स दे हैव स्टार्टेड दस पर्टिकुलर सिक्स इनिशियटिव अंडर द एम पी ए अनदर वन ब्लू रिवॉल्यूशन फोर इयर्स ऑफ प्रधानमंत्री मत्स्य संपदा योजना so blue revolution i hope you all know it is related to the fisheries so now let's see that what exactly is matsya sampada yojana so pradhan mantri matsya sampada yojana was launched in 2020 it is comprehensive initiative aimed at transforming transforming india's fishery sector so i hope you remember that in 2020 we were going through uh, corona and at that time lot of sectors were being impacted because of this disease prevailing in the country so to combat these type of things which are obstructing the flow of business in different sectors this particular uh, scheme was launched and that was known as the matsya sampada yojana the scheme enhances the welfare of fishermen and addresses critical issues in fish production productivity and quality it also focuses on technology infrastructure and strengthening the fisheries value chain as i said that during that time the all the sectors were impacted and for to particularly support this fishery sector the pradhan mantri matsya sampada yojana was launched for the welfare of fishermen and address critical critical issues in fish production productivity and quality another one the moe f double c organizes the dialogue on montreal protocol so ministry of environment forest and climate change organized a dialogue on montreal protocol the event was the part of the 30th world ozone day celebration on september 16 so let me just refresh your memory montreal protocol was started in 1987 and it is related to the conservation of ozone layer uh, after the discovery of depletion in ozone layer over antarctica we uh, particularly started this protocol and this protocol was started in canada that is in montreal and to commemorate this particular uh, protocol ministry of environment forest and climate change they have organized a dialogue dialogue means that they have organized a meeting the theme was montreal protocol advancing climate action dialogue emphasized importance of collective decisions and actions guided by science and solve global crisis so this particular uh, dialogue was held in india Hindi Divas 2024 celebrating India's linguistic heritage so Hindi Divas is observed annually on September 14 it marks the adoption of Hindi as the official language of the Indian federal government in 1949 the day celebrates India's rich linguistic diversity and cultural heritage so remember 7 September 14 is observed as Hindi Divas and very next day September 15 is observed as Ingenious Day as well Hindi Divas 2024 emphasizes the significance of promoting linguistic unity across the nation okay so create a kind of a linguistic unity and to tell about the rich linguistic diversity in our country this day is commemorated to hindi language cabinet approvals on september 11 2024 so union cabinet chaired by prime minister narendra modi approved several initiatives on september 12 uh, september 11 2024 the mausam initiative with a budget of rupees 2000 crore over two years aim to enhance india's weather and climate sciences it uh, we have discussed it already that uh, the mausam initiative it helps in india for the research uh, purpose in meteorological department pm e bus seva payment security mechanism scheme was an with an outlay of 3435.33 crore will procure the operate over 38000 electric buses from 2024 2025 to 2028 2029 so between them we are going to create 38000 electric buses and for that purpose pm e bus seva payment security mechanism has been outlaid pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana 4 will provide 62500 km all weather road connecting 25000 unconnected habitations 
विद टोटल आउटले ऑफ रुपीज सेवेंटी थाउजेंड वन ट्वेंटी फाइव करोड़ अदर अप्रूवल इंक्लूड पी एम इलेक्ट्रिक ड्राइव रिवॉल्यूशन इन द इनोवेटिव वैकल एनहेंसमेंट स्कीम विद रुपीज टेन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड करोड़ मॉडिफिकेशन टू द बजेटरी सपोर्ट स्कीम फॉर हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक प्रोजेक्ट ओके सो ऑल दीज प्रोजेक्ट है फर्स्ट फाउंडेशन डे ऑफ फोर्टीन सी होम मिनिस्टर अमित शाह लॉन्च फोर की इनिशियटिव फॉर प्रिवेंशन ऑफ साइबर क्राइम सो ऑन टेंथ ऑफ सेप्टेंबर यूनियन मिनिस्टर अमित शाह एड्रेस द फर्स्ट फाउंडेशन डे ऑफ द इंडियन साइबर क्राइम कोऑर्डिनेशन सेंटर इन न्यू दिल्ली सो वी हैव जस्ट सीन दैट अंडर द साइबर सिक्योरिटी इंडिया हैज बीन डूइंग ग्रेट अंडर दैट इंडेक्स एंड नाउ हेयर यू कैन सी द फर्स्ट फाउंडेशन डे ऑफ द इंडिया साइबर क्राइम कोऑर्डिनेशन सेंटर is being launched amit shah unveiled the logo vision and mission of the 14c the four key initiatives were cyber fraud mitigation as that is being growing in india so uh, samanvay platform cyber commando program and suspect registry so to target or to suppress or to eliminate all these type of cyber fraud this particular initiative has been launched by the union home minister 14C an initiative of the uh, Ministry of Home Affairs was dedicated to the nation on January 10 2020 so for that purpose this particular program is launched to prevent cyber crime another one Ministry of Statistics and Programming Implementation uh, dissolved 14 members standing committee on statistics amid delayed census so ministry of statistics and program implementation it is a department uh, it is a ministry that take care of all the type of statistical data uh, being launched by the government over the different type of things so they have dissolved 14 member standing committee on statistics due to overlapping role with the newly formed steering committee for the national sample survey so they have dissolved 14 committees new steering committee chaired by rajiva lakshman karan dikar Include at least four members from the dissolved SCOs. SCOs was initially constituted to assist the government with survey methodology and data needs. The delay in the conducting the decennial census, last held in 2011, raised concern about the accuracy of the statistical surveys and policy making because last census was held in 2011 and still. uh the census was to be completed in 2021 but still we don't have any data official data for 2021 so because of that also uh, the particular ministry or the government is under question so for that purpose these uh, some particular committees have been dissolved and now the point of all the type of census and all will be under the steering committee DOT simplifies telecom licensing and equipment approval process to boost the telecom sector so department of telecommunication revised its processes for issuing experimental license demonstration license and equipment type approvals to enhance ease of doing business so some type of uh, swift work can be done in the telecommunication department so for that purpose this type of uh, kind of a uh, easiness has been given for these type of issuing of experimental license demonstration license and equipment type approval so the time that is being spent in getting these license will be put into the some type of innovations and doing business good fixed timelines have been introduced for quicker approvals of the experimental license for demonstration license license will be deemed granted after 15 days without interministerial consultation and after 45 days with IMC that is interministerial consultation. All applications of ETA for license exempt wireless devices are now granted on self declaration basis. Other applicable terms and conditions, including obtaining necessary clearances, remaining in effect. Another one, NTPC Talcher Kanya awarded 2024 Energy Management Insight Award from CEM. So NTPC Talcher Kanya has been awarded the 2024 Energy Management Insight Award from Clean Energy Ministerial. The award recognizes the organization's implementation of energy management system to achieve energy economic and sustainable benefits. So, as I said earlier, also whenever we are talking about the energy, we are talking about the clean energy. For that purpose, all the departments are doing lot of great things. But NTPC. based uh, ntpc talcher kanya 
he has been awarded this award because he has given a very good insight of that what we can do to achieve energy economic and sustainable benefits so for that purpose he has been given this award Kalchar Kanya qualified by submitting a comprehensive case study describing experience and the positive impact of ISO 50001 on its operation. The award is a part of CME Energy Management Leadership Award Program 2024. And have now we have come to the summarized part. So India participate in BRICS Literature Forum in Russia. <coughs> Third edition of Indus X Summit concludes in California. International Day for South to South Cooperation. India slips to 33rd in US News and World Report Best Countries Ranking 2. Piyush Goel unveils new portal for export. UPI users can now send up to 5 lakh rupees for certain transactions like tax payments. India's foreign exchange reserves reach all time high of 689.24 billion. Ministry of Commerce and Industries, Piyush Goyal launches Trade Con Connect e-platform. Max Life partners with CSB Bank for Bank Assurance. DRDO complete first phase trials of light tank Zorawar. DRDO and Indian Navy successfully flight test VLSRM. Science and Tech, India's first silicon carbide factory will be set up in Odisha. Excel awarded 476 million to, uh, for NASA. Uh, innovations and index. India jumps to tier one in global uh, cyber security index. Paris Paralympics 2024 highlights. We got lot of awards this time. OCA include Yogasan in 2026 as a demonstration sports. So that in 2030 it will be added as a medal sport. President Draupadi Murmu confers National Florence Nightingale Award. People of Jaskar celebrates ninth. Ladakh Jaskar Festival, Union Minister Jyoti Raditya Sindhya launches Ashta Lakshmi Mahotsav web service. Amit Shah inaugurates National Security Strategies Conference, Union Minister Kiran Rijiju launches six initiatives. Blue Revolution, four year of Pradhan Mantri Matasse Sampada Yojana. MOEF C organizes dialogues on Montreal Protocol in Delhi. Hindi Divas being commemorated on 14th of September. Cabinet approves very new particular schemes re on recently on September 11th. First Foundation Day of 14C Amit Shah launches Cyber Crime Portal. MOSPI dissolved 14 members standing committee in place of steering committee. DOT simplifies telecom licensing and equipment approvals. NTPC Taljar Kani Award awarded 2024, 2024 Energy Management Insight Award. And that's it in this particular session. I hope you have got a lot of insight of the current affairs and general knowledge. And we'll meet in the next session with the same kind of enthusiasm and the same kind of knowledge. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care, everyone. See you soon.